Hello and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. My name is Negative Root and let's get cracking. We need uh, an alarm just to make sure that I don't sit here for the next uh, ooh, crikey, next three hours and play this game without end. Alright, there we go. Earth calling. We're off and we're running. Now, in the last episode we we gained some more research, which is wonderful, uh, and we got some more um, things, some more contracts, which is good. Now, right now, I've got this Explore Minmus and Explore Moon, and this is what I'm really focusing on right now. I think I have a craft that can do it, Whoop, wrong button, and wrong building, but I, uh, we were struck by the Kraken at the end of the last episode there. We proved that the vehicle was capable, that this top stage performed admirably in the end of the, in the end of the, uh, of the mission where everything went awry and we lost the, we lost everything basically. It was not, uh, it was not good. We'll just, uh, let me pick this back up. Now that's the way we want it, and we want it to go to the next one. Wonderful. Now I want to zoom, zoom in here. Oh, will that allow us to control that? Hopefully. We'll just see if we can strut it up a bit, and hopefully, hopefully this works. It is very much a seat of the pants uh, kind of KSP. Um, effort. Now, I'm going to put these in because it looks pretty. No, I'm not. It costs too much. So, the Explorer 7 craft is uh, slated to go to Minmus. Now, we unlocked some more science gadgetry, namely the thermometer. So, we'll add that on. I wonder why that's just hanging in the air. Yeah, namely the thermometer. So that's going to be very, very handy to us. And we're going to uh, take that thermometer and hopefully uh, do some good research with it. Now the next thing that uh, actually got added was a ladder. So what I want to do is actually rotate everything around so that we can get the ladder to, to work. Now... What I want to do is place these something like this and place these something like this. Now I realize that part that's part clipping, but such is life. Because <laughs> I want to make this nice and easy to get onto. Oops. Let me guess, this is in three symmetry. Yep. God damn it. Okay, that's good. So this should make it easy for the Kerbal Mort to get in and out of the craft. Now, I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is that we don't need that. That's what I'm thinking, because we've got these, these three batteries under here. Now the what else do we need? Do we need anything else? I think that I think that this uh, this should work. Famous last words, but I think it'll work. All right. Now then, let's uh, set it up to launch and get cracking. See if we can make it to Minmus in this episode. So the Explorer Seven. Notice we've gone up in parts. Uh, Jeb, sorry, dude, you're uh, you're banked for this one. We're going to take Bill. Bill's going to go. He's going to fly this bad boy into outer space. Let's launch. Now the mission profile that we're going to aim for is a pretty simple one. We'll go for a 90 kilometer orbit. And then from there, we'll look to get into a orbit of um, 
sorry, an intercept with Minmus. And we'll go for a direct transfer. Hope to God the Kraken doesn't strike again. Because if it does, we're screwed. Screwed in every sense of the word. Uh, yeah, hopefully um, we'll get a direct uh, transfer and, and not worry about a plane change at all. Just aim for the uh, ascending node or the descending node, depending on, on where the orbit sits. So far, we're solid. Now let's have a look at our Delta V stats, because that's uh, quite important. Wonderful. We've got altitude info. And we've got orbit info as well. So this will be a big help to us. We can probably make that go away. Now then, we've got a minute 30 left to go on this, this uh, stage. And uh, 2 kilometers per second. Well, actually 1800, if we're looking at the Atmo. Which would be the right one. And we're really struggling to uh, to get the acceleration at the moment. Hmm. Looking at the chart, I'm, I reckon I'll need probably 1500, uh, sorry, 500 for for safety in the uh, final stage to get back from Minmus. So how are we looking? All right, we're getting there. So far, the Kraken hasn't struck, so that's uh, that's a good news. Okay, now acceleration will start to pick up as our thrust away weight ratio gets better and we'll start to just lean this this bad boy over which is a big and heavy rocket that's for sure ok we've got 20 seconds left to go on this stage we're just going to burn it as far and as fast as we can and we'll just continue to lean her over The gravity turns pretty good at this stage. I'm liking the way that's going. Okay, coming up to depletion. Stage. Wonderful. Now we'll just check our orbit from here. See what we're looking at. An apoapsis is nearly 90. So we'll cut the engines. Okie dokie. Now, we're still in the atmosphere. Well, won't be for long. Yep, so that's fine. Alright, let's jump to the map view. Let's uh, see if we can circularize this orbit. So that we can set up our transfer to Minmus. Seventy four hundred. Oh, we might have to take a few runs at this by the looks of it. Fifteen sixty-eight. Yeah, I can't get this to balance right now. So we might just uh, have a few runs at it. Actually, let's just come in a bit and see if we can get it closer to the apoapsis. There we go. We're coming up on the node, so we better get a move on here. Okay, that'll work. Right, let's get to the uh, to the node. We need to start burning because we've overran it. Oh, this is big and heavy. Yep. So we're going to have to add a bit of uh, bit of height to our node to uh, get it to happen. So this is going to take fourteen hundred. So we're going to have about one point four k left in in this stage if we can get it done. Now, right now, our apoapsis is dropping, so we want to. We need to extend it because otherwise, we're not going to get the, the timing right here. So, yep, that's it. Now we want it to hold. Hold steady. I'm very much eyeballing this right now. Because I don't want this to catch up to me before I've had a chance to, get the orbit to push out a bit further. 
with bigger and powerful rockets you can just boost and it pushes the apoapsis because it's so fast and powerful but these smaller rockets you can't do that yep okay so right now we're getting there right I'm gonna clear this just trigger that okay you can see now that it's accelerating so I'll just stop it once more I'll add another maneuver and hopefully this will get me into a nicer orbit because if it's if it's circular I can I can perform things a lot better so there we go now this will be in three seconds time no, it'll be three seconds worth of burn in 45 seconds time. So I can just jump forward a little bit here. Whoa, okay, time to burn. <laughs> oh shit, I overran that, if ever I did. Okay. 93, 96, uh, that's pretty good. Eccentricity is pretty low. Um, our inclination is 0.6 uh, of, oh, of a degree. So, we are in orbit, and here's what we're aiming for. So let's get this done. So now, where are we? We're here. Now we want to go on this node, out. Wow, that's pretty cool. Uh, 250,000, yeah, I'm happy with that. 909, which will leave us with 500 in the transfer stage okay I'm happy with that so now the burn is 40 seconds long and it's in five minutes now I wonder I wonder did I pack solar panels of all the things that I would have forgotten did I No, I remember them wonderful they're just pointed away from the Sun that's fine I'm happy with that so now we just got to wait a couple of minutes before we can make the transfer to Minmus. Now the reason I picked Minmus is it's much easier to land and when you've got small rockets, limited DV, uh, without going to even larger, more complicated, Kraken uh, inducing builds, uh, it's the easiest one to go for. So that's, that's why I'm doing it this way. <laughs> that and I like Minmus. It's cool. It's a it's sick planet. I like it. And we'll just orientate, get it on the maneuver node, and let's let rip the uh, let loose the dogs of war. Otherwise known as these uh, these seven or is it seven? Yeah it's seven uh, LV909 engines. So we're not bad on the accuracy there. We'll jump to the orbital map so we can watch. Now we might make a mid-plane or mid-course uh, correction and get the uh, the periapsis down. Okay, there we go. Periapsis is well bad, but that's okay because about here we'll make another correction. Oh, that's uh, that's no good, because you'll notice that that's in 22 days' time. So that's after we come around. Shit, how are we going to do this? Okay, there we go. Right. So, we're just going to have to wait a little bit. Now, yeah, notice that we're getting pretty tight on the old DV requirements. Now, I'm hoping that it won't take too much to capture and circularize. Actually, let's just have a look at that right now. Oof, we're a long way out. This is in seven days, so that's about usual. Oh, there we go. So, now, about... Um, and then it'll just take us a long... T oh, shite. Okay, we're out 
see that we're going to miss an encounter now. But at least we can do our maneuvers here. Let's see what we can. Okay, there it is. Just see if we can uh, finesse this out now. Oh, that's really not moving by as much as I'd hope it would. Okay, we'll come retrograde. Actually, let's just uh, can this maneuver entirely because I think there's a more efficient way of doing it. Come on, cancel, damn it. Good, thank you. Okay, there it is. So that's for 2.7 meters per second. Now, ideally, I want to get it. Oops. Now, what's that doing? Where is it running to? Okay. We're getting close here and see where we can. We want to get it roughly equatorial. So that's pretty cool. Uh, now we need to get it in, in in as close as we can. Let's just see what happens when we go this way. Nope. Okay, come back. I think that's probably as close as we'll get it. Otherwise, we'll miss the planet. We slow up too much. It won't. Uh, we won't get the capture. So that's for 11.3 meters per second. So I'm, I'm happy with that. <laughs> I don't think I'll get anything better than that, really, to be honest. Uh, so let's get this thing orientated. Whoop! My enhanced nav ball UI tells me I'm going the wrong freaking way. So let's go the right way. Oops! I'm going to overrun that. Oh, this thing is a pig. So now that's in. One day, three hours, and five minutes. So let's set up an alarm clock. We need to, yes, kill warp one minute beforehand. Sounds good to me. So let's fast forward. Because until that point, we have nothing to do short of just uh, watch and hope for the best. Now, with the thermometers, you'll notice that I'm not using it currently. And the reason for that is uh, I'm actually planning to use all three around Minmus. I'm planning to get the landing in this in this go. As we come in, I just won't touch anything because it will explode. Wonderful. Yeah, so I'm planning to use get all three. So in space high above, in space uh, close to, and then landed. So that's where I'm planning to use the three. Now I don't. I reckon there's one where it won't work. I think it might be high space. That's alright, let's just check if there's a crew report that can be done. No, there's not. This we'll have to be very careful with, because we've got a quite a high thrust to rate, weight ratio. So we'll wait until we're pretty much on the maneuver node before we make the uh, make the move. So we've got... There it is. So I'm at minimum thrust right now. Now if I overrun it, I can correct it by going prograde, but I probably... Do I have the balls? Yeah, why not? Oh! I overran it. God damn it. We'll just uh, come back this way. See if we find it. Now the maneuver node is actually going to help us here. Oh, come on, come back. Now, as you can tell, it's kind of like levers, but different. Right here, that'll do. 173,000, that's not a bad shot. You know, all things considered. It's not uh, quite equatorial. We're a little bit low for that. But uh, we should be right. Now, to get a capture, we're going to need... There we go. Less DV than we did last time. So we'll get down into a... 
10 kilometer yeah that's nice 10 kilometer um, orbit now what we'll do is we'll just uh, I'll just delete that quickly because I want to set up a few of these here I want to add in the sphere of influence to change I want to add that one minute before then I want to add in the periapsis no periapsis found yeah okay so we'll have to wait until after this so I'll see what I can skip through for you guys here because I've got a minute until the uh, episodes probably up so we'll just get to the sphere of influence change because once we get to that sphere of influence we can perform some science for science don't touch anything my tendency is to slow down like to press slow down but I think that actually affects things even more okay so we've got encounter in a couple of seconds we'll just run this down stop okay there's our notice the g-force meter sphere of influence change will delete you before you uh, tell me something I already know and there is Minmus mmm Minmus oh, oh. okay so crew report let's uh, transmit that bad boy yep we're okay for our resources just uh, find a temperature no it can't be done bugger We'll absorb the mystery goo. Yes, wonderful. We'll observe the materials container. Wonderful. Now we'll get the EVA and get the EVA report. We'll keep that and then we'll board the craft and then we'll review the stored data and transmit that because we want to bank that very, very much. Thank you very much for joining me in this episode. I'm going to stop it here and take a quick break and then come back and hopefully land on this uh, delicious dessert looking thing and get science lots and lots of science so yeah it'll be fun look forward to seeing you then